Hey everyone, welcome back to WCPO Lounge X. We are here on Friday, June 14th with a very special guest, Erica Winterstrom. She's a repeat Lounge Act guest, so we're very glad to have her back. Uh, you are playing actually in Columbus tonight, but then back in Cincinnati, Fountain Square tomorrow, so make sure you check that out for some great music. Uh, and we're actually going to just get right into hearing some great music uh, and then do a little interview and then a little more music. So can you tell us what we're going to hear first? I'm sure this song's called Extraordinary Love. All right, once again, this is Erica Winterstrom.
This next song is called Twisted Highway. <laughs>
All right. Thank you guys so much. Once again, if you're just joining us, we are here in the WCPO Lounge with Erica Winnerstrom and company. Uh, can you talk to me a little bit about the group that we have assembled here? Because I know you're you're here as Erica Winnerstrom, not like a, a band with a different name. But is this the group that's touring with you? Yes. Uh-huh. Oh, that's awesome. And uh, how did you kind of assemble this group? These are our old friends. Yeah, old and new. Yeah, I mean, Beth lives here in Cincinnati. Yeah, Beth and I have met before. Yeah. Love Beth, a listening loon. And I, yeah, I lived here 10 years. Yeah. Um, and uh, I've known Lauren for, for several years now. And uh, this is Lauren Grigiolo on guitar. She's awesome. Uh, you guys rock. And then we got Abraham Shook on bass. Yep. Uh, and Chris Hausler on the drums. Hey, guys. Yeah. Yeah. So um, talk to me a little bit about kind of, I mean, obviously you've assembled a great group, but what what is most noticeably different for you when you're touring and performing as Erica Winnerstrom versus the bands that you've been a part of? I mean, they're, I mean, I'm just with a whole different group of people yeah. um, playing a different album. Mm. Is that, uh, is your songwriting process different now? Not really. Okay. No, yeah. You, you've talked a little bit about, um, especially with your most recent project, about kind of the vulnerability that's behind your songwriting and your performing. Um, where do you still feel that when you're performing even now? What, what I mean with the vulnerability is I think um, at times maybe haven't been quite as open. And I just think that really there's... Um, I think even my darkest place in my life uh, is nothing that I should fear being open about. Yeah, because absolutely. I think that's just part of being human. We yeah. all have that. Well, so, especially as an artist, you know, you're putting that out there. Yeah, and I think just that at times in my life, and it's still a sort of a continued process of sort of reminding myself to not fear being open to that because I think, um, you know, when, when you allow yourself to be open and vulnerable it's also a way to connect with people and we kind of remind each other we're not alone in our thoughts or experiences you know we we all have a lot of very shared experiences absolutely um the last time you were here was about a year ago and you interviewed with Gil um and you talked a little bit about how a lot of the songwriting on your recent projects have been about self-love and being good to yourself where are you with that now you know I think that that is you know what I'm packing in. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> now I'm just- you figured it out. What you figured out the magic progress, right? Yeah. I, you know, I think, um, I think that uh, it's just a constant. It's a constant. Uh, I think that takes constant work, and yeah. uh, I definitely. Uh, uh, I am just a work in progress, yeah. as we all we are. are. Yeah. You yeah. know, but I think um, you can't fix things you don't understand so I did yeah. a lot of digging within myself to figure out things that I might not yeah. uh, be happy with myself about and and I think part of that is that vulnerability to sort of be open uh and in those things that maybe I felt uncomfortable talking about or admitting or whatever it is you know yeah. I think that um yeah, I think that's part of self, self-love, self too. So. Yeah, it's cool. I, I think there's a lot of kind of conversation now in the world about, like, self-care, and it looks like doing a face mask on Sundays, which is great. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but, like, as an artist, what does self-care look like for you as a, as a musician and a performer? Uh, well, if it's face masks, there's nothing wrong with that. Face masks are great. Yeah, yeah I do a face mask now. Yeah, why not? For, yeah. I brought some on tour. You, you know? need it. You need it sometimes. Uh, yeah, save it up for my day off. Right. Uh, <laughs> but I think self care for me is, uh, and that's another thing that, you know, I have to consciously take the yeah. time to do. Um, you know, at the end of the night, um, okay, uh, do I stay up or do I get some extra sleep that I need? Or maybe sometimes self-care is letting yourself kind of go in the moment also. You know, I think it's a balance, you know. Like, I think being very self-disciplined a lot on self-care is also not self-care, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, it does. You know, it's like, uh, so it's like I try to eat right and all that but once in a while I'm gonna have a good old slice of pizza I mean you need it if you're stressing (laughs) yourself out by 
like thinking about how much you need to take care of yourself, then you're just more, you know, like, exactly. it's, it's like you said, it's a balance. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess self-care is just finding that balance. Just listening and, uh, to yourself. Yeah. Yeah, That's totally. Cool. So you are touring right now. We said you're going to be in Columbus tonight and then back in Cincinnati tomorrow. And then you're kind of all over the map. I saw you're playing at Red Rocks in Colorado, which is awesome. Um, what are you most excited about right now? Touring, performing, writing, all of it? <laughs> um, All of it. I mean, I'm super excited about Red Rocks. That's oh, my been, gosh. Yeah. Yeah. That's been a big bucket list for me. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. We're playing with there with the Avett Brothers. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's funny. I don't, this uh, A year ago, uh, on the 5th of July, we drove past Red Rocks. We did an oh, event. Wow. We did an event uh, somewhere in Colorado. I can't remember where. Yeah. We were on our way to the airport. And I was like, I'm going to will it. I was like, I'm going to will that I'm going to play Red Rocks and within exactly uh, a year. Then I you're yeah. playing on the fifth of July. Yeah, I found out I got the show. Like I don't know, maybe it was in j- cool. January or something. Yeah, and then I realized it was exactly one year That's to crazy. the day, isn't it? That's amazing. Okay, we're also going to put it out there that we are all going to win the lottery <laughs> in a year. Erica's putting it out there. So if it worked for Red Rocks, we might as well put out put it all out there. <laughs> So on that note, we're going to keep playing music while we still need to before we win the lottery and we can retire. Uh, Can you tell us what we're going to hear next? Uh, This song is called Staring Out the Window. All right. So once again in the WCPL Lounge, this is Erica Winnerstrom. (laughs) Thank you.
This song is called Letting Go.
All right. Thank you guys so much. That was awesome. What was the name of that last song again? It's called Letting Go. Letting Go. Those last two are especially, they're really cool. They just sound like old, like classic rock songs that you'd just like jam to. They're really cool. Ah, thank uh, you. Yeah, of course. So once again, this has been Erica Wenestrom and company uh, here in the WCPL Lounge. Thank you guys so much for coming. Uh, you can find this performance uh, on WCPL.com slash lounge acts. And the podcast will be on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Stitcher, all of the podcast places. Where can people find more Erica Wenestrom music? Just anywhere that you would normally find music. Yeah, all yeah. the places. Spotify. Yeah. yeah. You, you, YouTube, uh, yeah. Re your record store, your local record store. There Shake you go. it. I don't know if is everybody's, everybody's uh, there. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. So just look for Erica with a yeah, K. Oh, yeah, Black Plastic Records. Yeah. <laughs> oh, very nice. So thank you guys so much again for being here. We loved having you. And once again, this has been Erica Winnerstrom. Thank Thanks, you. Guys.